I've gotten several questions about uh, some of the statistics problems and what it really means as far as describing the data set and things like that. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the things that we're actually talking about on this. So let's say that we're looking at uh, the first problem uh, from the statistics practice. Okay, this is problem number one. And so one of the things we want to do is identify the mean, median, and mode. All right, so here I can talk about the mean. Now remember, the mean is the average. All right, the average. Double click, I identify the ones that I want to average, and it's six. The median is the number that's right smack dab in the middle of the thing. So I say median, there's the median function. Identify the data set. It's that. The mode is the number that is repeated the most. So we'll say mode. Here's that function. Identify it. And there's it's an A because there is not a number that's actually repeated the most times. Now, another way to figure that out, and one of the things you might do, I, I, first of all, I want you to, to use the, the functions, get used to using the functions. You can also use the, go to data, and our data analysis, remember we added the data analysis, and we're going to do st descriptive statistics. So it's saying, what's the input range? So it's going to be that right there. It's in columns. We do not have labels in this case. The output range, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here in D2. Oops. Get rid of that. We're going to say here is the data set. The output range, we want to click on that. We're going to say D2. And we want summary statistics. Click on OK. There it is. And if you see the mean that we identified, there it is. The median, there it is. The mode, there it is. Other things to think about is we will also be looking for what's the standard deviation. In other words, how many, uh, in looking at, you know, 66% of the data would be within one standard deviation, okay? You have your range, your minimum, which is two, your maximum, which is nine, summarization, and the count. So it's really kind of cool how it pulls all this information together. Now, when it starts talking about the shape of the data set, okay, what we're talking about here is putting in a, a chart. So I'll identify that. I'm going to insert. And what I want to do is I want to insert a scatter chart. And we could do it with just dots, or we could do it with a line or squiggly line. All right. So let's just do it with the dots for right now. And if you're looking at this, you say, okay, well, I don't really see any kind of a pattern per se. Uh, I don't really see um, like a normal distribution or anything like that. One of the things that we can do to our chart is add a chart element. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add a trend line. And let's say it's a linear line. So if you're looking at this and you wanted to de define that, let's say that the data that you have here is, say, weeks or something along those lines. You can see that the trend over the weeks with this very limited data is down. So this is the kind of description that you may want to do as far as some of the, the problems are concerned. Let's do the same thing with the second problem. So the mean. It's going to be equal to the average. There's the data. Seven. Median equals median. Identify the data. Interesting. Mode equals the mode. And identify that data. It's all seven. Interesting. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let's look at the summary statistics. Let's just kind of check our work. We go to data, data analysis, descriptive statistics. 
the input range, zap that, we're saying is going to be here, it's in columns. Our output range, we're going to put that here. And we want summary statistics. So our mean or our average is 7. Median and mode is 7. Standard deviation is pretty big. All right. Range, min, max, sum, count, that sort of thing. All right. Now, if we were to plot this, let's see what we look at. So I'll identify the data. Input the scatter chart. Okay, that's kind of what it looks like. You don't, I don't really see like uh, a normal distribution or anything, but let's look at a trend line. So for this puppy, we're going to add a chart element. Now remember, this is under chart tools. When I click on the chart, I get chart tools and design. So I'm going to add a chart element. Trend line. Hey, looking at this, it looks as if the trend is actually going up over time or something along those lines. So in the statistics practice where it's talking about um, what are we doing as far as the, the data is concerned? What does the data look like? What does the date, the shape look like? That's what we're talking about doing. If you have questions, give me a shout.